Here we have a lovely cat, and to be de-sexed, he's a male cat and he's going to be castrated. The students are giving him a careful examination to make sure he's fit and well. His temperature's taken and he's weighed. When they decide that he's absolutely fine, he's given a pre-med. They draw up their drugs and give him this injection that'll help make him a bit sleepy prior to giving the anaesthetic. He's popped away in his cage until the drugs take effect. Once they have, he has his front leg clipped and he's given an intravenous injection into his front leg and this injection is going to anaesthetise him. Once he's anaesthetised, a tube is placed down into his airway. This airway tube means that he's much better able to be connected to the anaesthetic machine. The tube is tied firmly in place and the cuff of the ET tube is inflated. Now, the surgical area is being clipped. Surgery is much, much easier if there's not a lot of hair in the way. Here it is being cleaned thoroughly. It's very important for a surgical area to be cleaned. He's transported to the surgery where he's connected to the anaesthetic machine and other monitoring devices. The anaesthetic is monitored continuously. This is where we scrub our hands thoroughly prior to giving him his final cleaning of the surgical area. Once this is done, surgery is able to commence. Both testicles are removed from him. It's going to mean that he's a much, much better pet for somebody. He's less likely to roam and get run over or get into cat fights. He's less likely to get cat bite abscesses and the other diseases that can be transmitted through fighting. He also will be less likely to spray and be a smelly cat. Nobody likes to have a smelly spraying tom cat in their house and having him neutered means he'd be far less likely to do this. Here we're just making sure everything's tied off nice and firmly so that there's not much bleeding. Once we've finished, he's microchipped and he's stimulated to help him recover. And once he's recovered enough, we take the tube out of his throat and he's kept monitored thoroughly until he's able to sit up. 